While I was at the Supercomputing Asia event in Singapore earlier this week, I had the opportunity to speak with Abhichek Saha. He's a computer engineer at the National University of Singapore. He recently worked on a project to simulate the land in Singapore and its susceptibility to flooding. He mentioned that there have been more floods in the past year than any time in recent history and that it seems to be increasing. So the city wants to figure out what it can do to minimize the impact of these floods on the citizens of this island. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. We're wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your project. Well, the overall goal of this work is to have much um, faster and more accurate predictions of urban floods. So the urban floods is now becoming a bigger problem with the climate change and everything coming uh, rapidly. But uh, unfortunately, there are two constraints to that. One is with the data. The other is with the computer models which simulate the floods. So basically, the company uh, H2I right now is looking at uh, collecting much higher resolution data. So that's very high resolution rainfall. And uh, we also get, uh, with Singapore government's uh, agencies, a very high resolution um, digital elevation, digital surface models. So using that, we want to go to the next level at, of computing uh, floods, uh, the surface water movement. Now the problem with that is the, the traditional models which uh, are doing which are used by companies, industries, and even in research space to do the floods. They are quite slow, especially if you put in them very high resolution data. So they become quite, it takes a lot of time. So we are trying to develop an engine uh, which would be able to take into account this high resolution data, but re not only sort of have the same runtimes as the older models, the, the standard ones, but be faster than that. And for that, we want to use uh, HPC and uh, uh, GPUs, so the heterogeneous computing. And we have some professors at uh, the at NUS and at uh, also at TU Delft and uh, Trento, so in Europe. So we're working together to come up with an algorithm to and an implementation to actually have a very fast model that can take into account the high resolution rainfall and eleva uh, digital elevation model and compute the floods for cities. It's a complex uh, thing to do it for cities than, than normal spaces because you have tiny infrastructures and very local scale things happening. So, and it's also, if it impacts, the losses are much more in a city uh, in, in small scale. So we are doing it, um, uh, we started it last year, we got a grant from the Singapore Research NRF, uh, the National Research Foundation, mm -hmm. and we start uh, working on it now to go, it, uh, go into more details of this computational engine, so to, to sort it out, sort of see how it works. Is there also an aspect of it to, you know, prevent future flooding? Well, yes. Uh, so. The, one of the main concerns is uh, yeah, the, the flood protection measures are also dependent on the predictions by these computing models, right? So people, uh, policy makers or, or designers are, uh, of urban planning, they, they depend on computer, computer model predicted floods to sort of design their uh, structures. That, uh, uh, but if your flood models are averaging things out, you may not have the best infrastructure in place. And so if we end up uh, putting uh, uh, more accurate uh, predictions, we, we, we get to more accurate predictions using all the data that we can, um, if the flood predictions are better, we can design better flood protective measure, preventive measures. Preventive measures are mainly, yes, because if you look at how the water flows and what are the obstructions from a very high resolution, you may decide to inter or uh, you know structure your designs around those areas. Maybe it will be very valuable. That that's one of the thought of the end use as well. 
on the technology side, what's behind this? What kind of software stack are you running behind this? Okay. So right now we are using uh, simply, um, I mean, there is not, not much fancy stuff. We, uh, we are using, um, um, for the computa computational model, everything is written from scratch in Fotron. So we have, we use both the uh, sort of uh, or the open source, the, the G-Fotron, as well as the GNU Fotron, as well as the uh, customized Intel Fotron, as well as now, uh, since with uh, the GPU support, uh, we get uh, the PGI compilers for Fotron. So the main, everything is developed for the computer engine in Fotron. So that's, that's the main part. But of course, um, there are uh, things to, uh, for the visualization and all that. So this is based on web-based, so it's JavaScript and Java backends, so with all the stacks, Node.js. Um, and um, yeah, we use scripting mainly with uh, Bash and uh, Python. So that's, that's we, we don't have, uh, we're not using very standard, um, uh, highly optimal libraries yet. But we plan to see which ones fit our uh, fit this case more. So we are we're trying out. So right now we are purely uh, basing it on Photon, Python, JavaScript. That's it. Well, thank you very much, and good luck in your research.